Hi everyone, Lauren Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. The sun is setting. Um, I wanted to get this intro done before the sun went down, so I made a video this morning of a small book that I made out of, uh, I think they're like two by two pieces of wood and I drilled holes in them and put them together with the Coptic stitch. I had no intentions of making a video on this, uh, but my new friend Misha from, the, from Czech asked me if I would, so I am. So, um, nothing more I need to tell you about today or yesterday or even tomorrow. So, see you on the table. So here is my little wooden book. It measures two by two. <clears throat> Pardon me. And it has a background of citrus off papers, some underpants of old book pages, and then I used my typewriter and typed out uh, the words. Okay? And it's a tiny book of fugitives. Wanted, dead or alive. $10,000 reward. Alma Sear, wanted for texting while driving. Johnny Casper, wanted. Leaving the toilet seat up. Big offense. The Carroll sisters are wanted for leaving dirty dishes in the sink. Anthony Stills for not recycling. Claire Frenchie lying about her age. Can you see her? There, the glares. You know it's dark o'clock here. Joe and Dot Daniels for being Republican. Sorry if I offended anyone. Couldn't resist. Emma Jean Wright is wanted for wasting time. Tommy Johnson for stealing art ideas. I'd be right along with him. How about you guys? Joe Lynn, Lang Joe Lynn Langley, who is actually my aunt not using turn signals. Frankie Smythe for not returning phone calls. Billy Bob Johnson for wearing his sister's panties. You know YouTube is going to have a blast with that. Missy Jones for leaving work early. And Georgia Thatcher for not washing her hands after visiting the restroom. So that's the book. I'm going to gather the uh, supplies that you'll need for making this book. This is a Coptic stitch. It's a beautiful stitch. Here we go, right there. I used waxed linen binding thread, which I don't have any more of, so I'm going to be using something else on the example that I'm going to show you. So there's a couple of things that will work. All right, let me gather the supplies. All right, so once again, here's the little book that I made. And I used seven pieces of wood. I made seven pages. So you'll need seven pieces of wood, or however many you want to work with. These are two by two pieces of wood. You can use them thinner. This is just what was available to me. You'll need a template that is the same size as your wooden pages. So two by two. And then for the template, I went in a quarter of an inch from the side and a half inch from the top and the bottom. And I went in with my crocodile, this handy dandy tool, and I punched holes at that line. Half inch down, quarter inch in, half inch down, quarter inch in, and then I just popped two holes there. So you will be using that later with your drill. Template, wooden pages, some citrus off pages or anything that you want to use for the background. I try to use what I have and I have citrus off pages and I'll leave a link to that fun video. 
you will need old book text. You will need a plain piece of old paper. If you have a typewriter, you'll be using your typewriter for the words. If you don't, you will be using your computer. And hopefully you can send an old page through your printer. You will need old photos, one for each page, except for the front. So I believe it's like 14. Oh, let's see. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 images, and then whatever you want to put on the front page, which I have my wanted page on there. So 13 old images. I use the originals because I have a fair amount of them. You will need your Mod Podge and your trusty brush, wherever that is. Ta-da! You will need some kind of a cord. All right, so on the book that I made, I used the waxed linen. And uh, what I will be using on my next one is hemp cord uh, because I'm out of the waxed linen. So I'll be using the hemp cord, which is very, very strong. And for the finishing touches, I use Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo and a little pad for blending. So there you have it. So I'm going to go through and just uh, show you what I did uh, without actually recreating the book. This is for my friend in Czech. Okay, here you go. I think it's Michel. I think that's how you pronounce his name. All right, so take a wood block, tear some of your citrusol, and just glue that down with your Mod Podge, and you will cover both sides. I have this side covered with the citrusol pages. I wrapped it onto the back, and then there's no need to wrap on this side. You'll just cover the back with your citrus off pages. Makes a gorgeous background. I have both sides covered with the citrus off paper. Now I'm going to put my template down on my wooden page. I had a pencil before. Yeah, that's not going to show up and make a dot where I want to drill that hole. So I would take my drill and a fairly tiny drill bit and I would drill holes in each page after the citrusol paper is put on. Now you're going to grab some of your old book text And you're going to glue a piece down on that. This is the background for the photo. So I'm going to put some Mod Podge down and a piece of book text. Now, mind you, you've already taken this someplace and drilled holes in the wood. All right, I am not going to take the time to do that. You know how to do that. And you'll do that in each one of your pages so you know where to place your uh, old book text and your images. Next, you'll go to your choices of old photos. And you will glue an old photo down. I do have an old typewriter and I do have old book pages that don't have anything written on them. So I just take those pages like this from the front and back of the books and I take it to my typewriter and I type. So I'm going to glue these words onto her. 
so there she is. So let's do a little recap. Okay, I'm going to let her dry while we do. Pieces of wood, six to seven pieces, two by two. You take your citrus solve papers and you tear them and you glue them onto the square. After you have that on there, you're going to take your template and you're going to mark the spots which are a quarter of an inch in and a half inch from the edge. You know I'll send you a template if you need it for a two by two piece of wood. Citrus soft papers, template marks, a piece of an old book page, a photo, blank page to the typewriter or your computer. You can slide these through your printer. They will work. Glue your words down. That's just about dry now. And then I'm taking the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Vintage Photo Color and the blender, which is uh, a treat to have tools. <laughs> And then just rub the blender on the ink and put as much of that Distress ink on here as you want, making it look aged. And then once you get all of your pages done with their holes in them and everything done, done, done to them, you will take your I'm using hemp cord to show you today or your waxed linen thread for binding books and you will use the Coptic stitch. I have a video on the Coptic stitch. I will put that link down there in the notes. I love the Coptic stitch. Been around for a while. And then there's your fun, fun, fun wooden book. So go create, go play, go have fun. Thanks for joining me.